Scholars of IST to say, it's time to bring the school newspaper back. Did you know we used to have one? It's true. Our very own librarian, Ms. Hermann Stotter, was the editor-in-chief for that. Then a bit later, there were even a few issues published by Mr. O'Leary. But it's been too long. It's time to have a school newspaper again. So listen up. Ah, yes. This is a newspaper. For those of you who are addicted to your phones. All right. What every newspaper needs is a newspaper staff. So this is a recruitment video. Maybe you wish to be happy journalist kid number one or two contributing to democracy via quality journalism. So uh, listen up. All right, what would the time commitment be if you were to join my newspaper staff? Hopefully not more than one hour a week, but it would depend on your role. More on that later. Maybe you're worried also about the fact that it's during tutorial. Well, there are two tutorials this year, so not to worry. All right, here are some of my ideas. It'd be fun to have a comic section, or at least a comic every month. It'd be fun to have an Ask a Ninth Grader column, and maybe you want to be that ninth grader who answers the questions of students younger than you, either in a funny way or a serious way or whatever. We could have an Ask a Teacher column. We could have a letter to the editor, which would be just an opinion piece. <laughs> I can't get rid of Ms. Carlson here. Here we go. Uh, which would be open to anyone in the school if you wish to express an opinion. If you write it well and if you make a good point, your opinion could be published for all the school to read. It'd be fun to have a poll of the month, so data would be collected during mentor time and then results would be published in the newspaper. It'd be fun to have a puzzle or Sudoku of the month with the answer published in the next month's edition. It'd be nice to have a special interest story or two, like from student council or IS or TSA or Hani or something. It'd be fun to have an entertainment review, and we're definitely going to have a monthly book recommendation from the aforementioned li librarian. Be nice to have a monthly health tip from the school nurses, artwork of the month, story or poem of the month. This could be collected via school-wide contest or just recommended by art teachers or English teachers or Swedish teachers. We'll see. Editors picks, songs we like. So there will be a few editors, a few upper school students and me, just so you know, my Editor, editor's pick will definitely be something along the lines of Afrobeat with Juicy Bass. be nice to have an, a guest article. It'd also be fun to have fake news, like a satire piece. Some of you may have heard of The Onion. It's a really funny fake news newspaper. So if you think to yourself, hmm, I'm good at writing with irony, maybe you should do the fake news column. All right. Besides that, I'm open. I'm open to any other ideas, so come check it out if you are interested. Here are the roles I'd like to have. I need three editors, probably, besides myself, and then a bunch of journalists. So I'm thinking the editors would be upper school kids, and um, journalists, you'd do other articles, like the fake news article, or... Maybe you would just, you'd be responsible for going to the nurses or emailing them to ask for the monthly health tip, that kind of thing. All right. Here's the plan as well. We'll prob probably be black and white because that feels more newsy. Big paper, one page. Um, unless we have more content. I just don't want to mess with staples. You know what I mean? Five copies per class would be distributed during mentor time, which would require child labor, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Although you wouldn't be paid, so I guess it's like slavery. I'm also okay with that. We would print extra copies and have them in the library, probably also reception, and then we'd publish a digital version on Schoolsoft. All right, maybe you're concerned. Maybe you're like, but I don't know how. I don't know how to write a newspaper article. Scholars, I'm a teacher. I will teach you. But let's be honest, ninth graders, you've already learned a lot about how to write articles, especially newspapery things. And eighth graders, you're going to learn now-ish, uh, very soon. So you're empowered, or will be soon. Oh, you could be like these 
famous journalists, Lois Lane, Clark Kent, AKA Superman. You could literally be Superman. Okay, figuratively. So think about it. Consider checking out uh, what it would be to be newspaper staff. Uh, a week from today, September 4th, during tutorial time, BO3. And remember, if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you're misinformed. Over and out! <laughs>